Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well and you're all keeping safe. Um, it's been a quick minute since I last updated you. Um, as you can see, Evie is with me and she's not in the best of mood. So if she does start to get a bit whingy, then just bear with me. Um, Evie is currently seven weeks old. She will be eight weeks old on Friday. So she's two days away from being eight weeks old. And honestly, I don't know where the time's gone. Um, I would say she's a dream, but she's not. She's like a devil child sent down from somewhere to test all our patients. Um, she's good, but she's just so whingy. So I'll get on with the update from two weeks to now. I'll try and remember what I can. Um, it's been very difficult to try and film because if you are not aware, in the UK we've gone into our third lockdown and in this lockdown all the schools have shut so it's meant that I've had to homeschool my other daughter who's five and that can be very time consuming so that's why I haven't really managed to film and I just keep forgetting to be fair. So I'll start off with Evie and then I'll go on to myself. So. Evie is, I don't know how much she weighs because of lockdown, they're not doing the weighing, so she didn't get weighed at four weeks and she didn't get weighed at six weeks, but she has got her eight week um, doctor's appointment and immunisations on Monday coming, so I will update you after that because I'm not looking forward to that and I'm hoping she should be weighed then, so I should be able to um, update you, but she's now fitting into first size clothes which first size goes up to about £10. So I reckon she's probably between £9 and £11, I reckon. Um, she's getting really big, bless her. I'll insert a picture down here of when Evie was a month, when Evie was two weeks old to when she was seven weeks old. And she's in exactly the same outfit and you can tell the difference. It is unbelievable. So yeah, I'll include that. She is on five ounces of milk every three hours during the day. And then on the evening, she'll have, well, we, we try to give her her last feed between 10 and 12. And then she will then go till the next morning. Last night, though, she had her last bottle at nine o'clock and she woke up at four. So she's still going that extra long period on the evening. It's just because she had a bottle earlier, she... um didn't last that long but that's okay that i was ex i was expecting that last night um we've now transferred her to her next to me crib which has been a nightmare she doesn't settle in it at all well no she does settle in it if you've got i've got one of them like little cushion and um, feeding cushions like the, the um u-shaped ones so i have to put it like sit her up in that and then she falls asleep after about half an hour of crying which can be very stressful she has started to smile. She started smiling when she was about five weeks old. Um, and she's got such a beautiful smile. Um, you can definitely tell the difference between a windy smile. Because a windy smile is all gums, isn't it? And the eyes, where we can tell it's a proper smile. She still isn't very great at bringing her wind up. We did try. I don't know if you can see that. Infocar. But it didn't really work. If anything, it made her more constipated. So we stopped using that. We've upped her to Hungry Baby Milk. So she's on Karen Gate Hungry Baby. Um, which, at first, she was sick quite a bit. But now she's, get, now she's got used to it now. And so she's on five ounces every three hours. Um, a couple of weeks ago, she went through a stage of cluster feeding. I think that was when she was going through her first leaf. So she'd have her five ounces and then she'd want another top up of two ounces before bed, which was fine, but she's not doing that at the moment. Um, she loves her little, she, nah, she loves her big sister. They've got such a lovely bond. They're, with Amelia, she wants to hold her all the time and give her cuddles. And sometimes Evie's back down for that. She's like, yeah, that's fine. Other times she's like, not a chance. Is this happening to me today? Um... I think that's it. She has had a bit of a cold. She's been a bit sniffly, which I think is why she's been so grouchy for, because 
I, last week she went through a stage where I could not put her down she'd just cry and cry and that was very hard and obviously because you don't exactly know what's the matter with them it makes you more stressed so I was trying to homeschool Amelia and see to a crying baby and it wasn't really a good week um I think that's all I've got to update you on on Evie she is in size two nappies and so we've upped her nappies now because we found that the size ones were getting a little bit too tight around her thighs so we've upped her nappies to size one um she is a i'd say she's a dream 80 percent of the time and then the other 20 percent of the time she has been sent from the devil and um, but that's all the update for her um me wise i'm okay i had my first postpartum period and that was a bit gruesome um the after pains no one tells you about do they and i think that's what the worst the worst is i'm hoping that my periods don't follow on like that with the after pains um so i've had my first period i am back down to pre-baby weight and a little bit more or less i think before pregnancy i was 11 i think i was 11 9 and i'm now 11 6. i do want to try and get down to 10 stone but that's going to be a completely different project i did do a couple of workouts with amelia because obviously she's homeschooling and that was fun that was really fun <laughs> i am um, had to try not to wet myself let's put it that way um my moods have been okay other than when i was on my period and i was a bit hormonal and a bit stroppy i'm fine now um eating wise i have not got an appetite i haven't got a clue what's the matter with me but every time i eat something i get really bad stomach cramps so i think i might um talk to the doctor about that at my six week check because it's not i don't i don't think it's normal i didn't have it before baby but now it's just horrible. Like I get this in, intense cramps. It's not like a period pain, because if you had per, if you've got periods, you you would know what that period pain is. It's not that. It's a completely different pain. It's like when you have a tummy bug and you, you your stomach's about to clench up and you're about to be sick. It's that kind of pain that I get, and that's no fun. But yeah, I haven't really got an appetite. Um, I should not really drinking much, but I know I should be. So that's probably one of my pains. Um, are there but I try to get through a litre bottle a day it doesn't work it doesn't happen um, yeah I probably need to start drinking enough to be quite honest with you that might be the issue but I am going to bring it up to my doctor Um, my postpartum stomach I'm not going to get my gut out because that's just not what this page is for but it's it's how it was before baby it's not completely flat but it was never flat before i fell pregnant anyway but i just need to find exercises yeah i just need to find exercises that will help me lose my weight but i'm not in too much of a rush at the moment to do that um so let me show you a close-up of evie i'm not going to take her out because she's settled but there she is we were also trying to get her to stick her tongue out so every time that we're talking to her and interacting with her we go mm. <laughs> and sometimes she does do it she's done it a few times for family members and other times she looks at you like you're crazy i'm giving her lots of tummy time because she's awake and sensory tv there's a um youtube channel called um hay bear sensory and it's these it's like a black background and it's got dancing vegetables on it and evie is obsessed with it you put that on and she's quiet for the whole of the video you take it off and she's up and she starts to cry her bottom lip starts to go um but yeah that's it that's what i've got to update you on i will probably come back on monday after she's had her injections and she's been weighed and do a two month update and then i'm gonna do it monthly then because i think that's a better target for me to set rather than weekly or two weeks because i didn't stick to i didn't stick to that at all and i'm sorry about that but i am going to try and be more present on youtube 
Um, if you have any video suggestions or would like to ask me any questions, then follow me on Bump to Baby 2020 on Instagram. I will link, I will leave my link for my Instagram below and message message me on there because that's where I'm most active. Um, and I would love to see you in my next video. So thank you for watching. Bye. Hey everyone, I thought I would just jump on and update you. I had E, it is Monday, and I said that I will update you on Monday. Evie had her injections today, and she was weighed, and she's currently £9.5. ounces. Um, in her, in, she had both her injections, and she is very grisly at the moment. Um, everything was fine with her six to eight week check. Other than they have to just recheck her hips. But the um doctor isn't too concerned about it to be fair. Should we'll go from it from next week? Um Evie has dropped below the ninth centile on her growth chart and I have to go back in a week or two to have her weighed again to see if she's above it. But other than that, they're really um happy with her. Um she's a very grouchy, she's my grouchy bum today, so lots of cuddles and um snuggles with mommy today so that's all for her eight week update and i will see you in my next one take care bye